Hello, we are back with a book tag, and of course, as always, Sir Chunk has no idea what we're doing. I don't even know what the topic is. Um, I've looked at this, and I haven't really put a lot of thought yet into my answers, and I don't have answers yet, so this is another book tag where we're kind of going off the cuff. I feel like they're more authentic that way, though, like, rather than, like, being super prepared and being like, I'm going to tell you about these books. Yeah, like, there's also all this dead air where we'll be like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so this I got from Danny Dabbles. It's the Totally Should Have book tag. And it was originally created by Emma Books. So I will tag them so you can see that who it was from. And then in terms of tagging, if you want to do this tag, do this tag. It's a really cool one. I think it's like, I haven't seen uh, Danny actually, I don't know if, her name's actually Danny, or if it's just, that's the name of the show. Um, but she did mention that, like, she hasn't seen this one for a while. It's kind of older. And I agree. This is, like, one that I'd like to see what people think, you know, and have other people's tags on this one because it's, like, related to books. Aren't they all related to books? Well, yeah, but a lot of them are, like, name a book with a title. <laughs> name a book with a, mm -hmm. a tree in it. Um, so this is kind of an interesting one. This is totally should have. So things that like should have different elements of things so all right so here we go number one a book that should have had a sequel um do you have one on you tell me when you're ready and i'll tell you when i'm ready, I'm not ready. <laughs> um oh i know a book that should have had a sequel it is um dance with dragons that's cheating that should have a sequel because it needs a sequel i'll fine i'll come up with something else but you don't think that needs a sequel? I mean, it's not even a sequel. The story's not done. You can't call it a sequel if the story hasn't finished. Well, it needs one they because... Need to, they finished reading or writing the book. I'm not, like, a big fan of sequels, I'll be honest. And so, like, a lot of times I'm kind of like, there shouldn't... There should be... A, I wish there was going to be a Z, but Sue Grafton died. So that's not one that I can give, you know, that should have a sequel because... I don't want there to be a sequel to somebody else wrote. I don't want this V.C. Andrews nonsense happening where she dies and 40 years yeah. later people are still writing books under her name. Romeo and Juliet 2, Benvolio's Revenge. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I'm not a, to be honest, I'm just not a big fan of sequels. Like, I don't mind. I think the Squeakwell should have a sequel. What's that? Isn't that like the Chipmunks movie or oh, something? Oh, yeah. Like, I think a lot of, like, I don't mind series. Um... You know, where it's, like, certain characters and they get to reappear, but, um, I don't know. I Re guess... Re Return of the Rainbow Dragon? It'll be called, dang, there's even more coming back. No? I don't think so. You, what do you think? Uh, sure. Is, is that what you want a sequel I guess. to? I can't think of a single book I would want a sequel to. Vanicula? Uh, there's already four I haven't read, so maybe I want an eighth. I think there are actually more than seven, but they're not the, the original. I would say, I kind of wouldn't mind, like, an Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret sequel, but they kind of had but menopause. that. Menopause? No, they kind of had that with Summer Sisters, I feel like, which is kind of, like, girl stuff when you're, like, in your, like, 20s. So you don't really need a sequel to that. Um... What about uh, Sister of the Traveling Pants, where the pants, like, become sentient? There is a sequel, and I start... haven't, a fifth one, No, I but this time where the pants, like, come alive and, like, are sentient and begin murdering everyone? No. Murdering that's, pants? That's not what I want. I want to see a book version of that donut movie where the donuts kill everyone. Isn't it called Just Attack of the Killer Donuts? Yeah. Great title. Um, I'm going to say for, like, because I, just because I want the book to have been longer, I'm going to say Nettle and Bone. Okay. Because I just want more of it. So, like, I don't, I don't even care. Like, I just want them to hang out and just, like, go on adventures together. I just want more of the characters going on adventures. I just like that group of people a lot. What about Paradise, Paradise Stuck in the Closet Collecting Dust as a sequel to Paradise Lost and Paradise Found? No? How about a replacement sequel where you destroy Dark Tower 5, 6, and 7 and replace them with a good sequel? I'm going with that. That's okay. my final answer. All right. A lot of people did like the ending. I was just They're reading wrong. someone was like, oh, I love the ending. They're wrong. <laughs> that ending is a cop-out, lazy, stupid pile of garbage. I wonder if it, like, changes if you no. read the Dark No, I'm saying, like, because a lot of people who read all of the Dark Tower in, like, a year or two probably have a very different response to someone who started reading it at, like, 13 and then, like, through their life, like, watched the books not happen so I'm sure, like, I bet when, like, 
George R. R. Martin ever releases his books, I wonder if, like, the people who started reading the Song of Ice and Fire series, like, well before the show, will feel mm. differently than the people who, like, jumped on the bandwagon with the show. Like, now oh. you jump on the bandwagon? I read that book. Anyway. Yeah, well, yeah. we didn't read the books first. Well, there's no word. There's never going to be a seventh book. It probably will be a sixth one. There sure as heck is not going to be a seventh book. I mean, maybe he's writing them both. No, there will never be a seventh book. It'd be surprising if the sixth one ever gets comes out. We're going to talk about this. We know. We're going to say this every single yeah. video. All right. A book that should have had a spinoff. Isn't that like... Oh, okay. That's, a, that's yeah. just like a one character is kind of wants more of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, huh. I mean, I'm, just, I'm just going to do the all Dark Tower thing. I want a Cuthbert spinoff. He's a side character. Or or um, the Adventures of Smeagol. Or Henry... Smeagol? Yeah. From Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Or... Um, I hate him. He's, yeah, but he's good in the book. Or Henry from uh, Frankenstein, who just, like, gets sick and dies on an island. I want to yeah, see him dying on an island. What happened to Henry? Right. We need more Henry. Or, um, Maybe a beniculous spinoff that actually is beniculous. Or I want, a, I want a spinoff of Rosaline. From oh, there is. There's a from movie. Alien, uh, there's starring a movie. that girl we like. Yeah, but I want, I want a before. story. Of, I'm going to still keep doing all art, Romeo and Juliet, and uh, Dark Tower stuff for the whole, the whole thing. Can I do it? Maybe. What about Vanicula, where Vanicula's actually in them? That wouldn't even be a spin That should be the actual book. You need Vanicula <laughs> actually doing stuff. <laughs> You're like, come on, Vanicula. Like, if, I think he meets Edgar Allan Crow, so he must be in that one. Well, no, they probably just walk by his cage, and they just go and have some stuff happen. That's all that ever happens. <laughs> Poor Vanicula. I know, he doesn't get to do nothing. Yeah, who is, like, a favorite side... I know I definitely have side characters that I would like to read more of. Who? I don't know. And you, you, so you already gave us a few. We're not doing a very good job because I don't, I can't think of any books all of a sudden. I don't know what happened to my brain. I read so much I didn't like in the last month, and now I'm like, oh, I don't know any books. Um, ooh, Spear Cuts Through Water could get a sequel. We're past sequel. We're on spinoff. Oh, now. spinoff, right? Um, Lover and Shirley. Oh, yeah, who that should get a spinoff? spinoff? Who's like? Because I always love like the side characters. Those are usually my favorite. Um, the Marquis de Carabas can get his own story. Oh, from Neverwhere. Yeah. I would love a story of what's the name of those guys. The Neverwhere sequel would be all right. Who are those guys? Oh, Krupp and Vandermeer. Yeah, the Krupp and Vandermeer. They should get a they should get a spinoff series, just being evil and doing their things, mm -hmm. but in like the most like sort of bumbly but sort of malicious, awful way. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's a great that's a great book, Neverwhere. Yeah, I don't. Because the thing is, the type of books I read don't oh, really, like, God. lend themselves well to, like, spin mm. All right, an author who should write more. Okay, well, that's, I mean, let's let's just throw George R. R. Martin out there and then move on. But, like, who, other than George R. R. Martin, who do I wish had more books? Um, oh, Seabold doesn't seem to write too much. Yeah, but that's because she's going to court for, like, lying about, like, being raped and, like, having a guy go to jail for 20 years. Oh, well, I guess... Well, not lying about being raped. She was raped. I but. guess not her, then. <laughs> I do. Jillian Flynn needs to write more books. She's written three. I, and now she's like running a publishing company or something and picking books, which makes mm -hmm. me want to read the books that mm -hmm. she picks. But also, I want more Jillian Flynn books. I mean, I'd like to see Bradbury write more books, but he's dead. That makes it really difficult. Ian Reed. Ian Reed should just write a book every day because I love his books. Although, probably the reason I love Jillian Flynn and Ian Reed is because it takes them forever to write books. So they actually put a lot of effort into their stories, mm -hmm. as opposed to like... Oh, that oh, person you... who I'm just reading now, Kate, what the heck's her name? The Pyrenees. Oh, Pyrenees Susanna ago. Clark? Yeah. Because well, it took her 403 years to write. But she's only written like two books. Jonathan Strait. So she should write more than two books. <laughs> yeah, she's probably writing another one that's in 9 million pages. Well, the other one, Pyrenees, is really short. Pyrenees is short. I have to read that. Um, you know who should write more? James Patterson. I feel like there's just not enough James Patterson. He just wrote three books while we were doing this book tag. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. Not James Patterson. All right. Um, a character who should have ended up with someone else. Oof. I'm not into the romance thing, but there are books that obviously have romance elements. Um, but I hate love triangles. So I tend to be like, uh, I don't care. Who should have ended up with somebody else? I mean, Julia should have ended up with someone who wasn't an idiot. Yeah. Just, I guess Julius Caesar should have 
what up with someone besides bunch of knives. <laughs> I don't know. Who should have ended up with someone else in a book? I mean, I could not care less at all about this. This is like the worst conceivable question for me. I don't care who is with who ever. It's just this is just uh-huh. dead air. You yeah. have to edit this. This is terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, got, I got nothing. We've all like one. zoned out on that option. I don't care about who day two. Yeah, um, I'm just like so anti romance. Right. Desdemona should end up with someone besides Othello, because you know. No, what's her name? Crazy. Amelia should have ended up with someone other than Iago. Iago's awesome. Yeah, but she basically got like manipulated and murdered. No, Desdemona got murdered. I thought Amelia got murdered, too. I think she also gets murdered. He kills she? her, too. Yeah, they both get... So both of them should probably have found some other Anyone date. who ends up with Iago should not. Iago's awesome. Yeah, but no one should date him. No, no. Anyone who dated Patrick Bateman... Yeah, I guess. ...should have dated somebody else. Um, all right, a book that should have ended differently. Ooh. Well, you're going to go on... Go on your Dark Tower rant. Okay, well, I... Obviously, Dark Tower is the most obviously garbage ending. But I'm going to branch out slightly to 11-22-63, which after he had his Dark Tower ending, this is years after, he was like, you know what? Let me do something similar and just as equally stupid in another book people really like. It's like, man, you're really going to go for, like, the crappiest ending conceivable twice? (laughs) Was it was just a dream? Pretty much. No, you're kidding me. It can't just be just. It was it's just, pretty much that, yeah. Oh, that's not acceptable of an ending. I no know. one should ever have. It's just. A dream. I know. Like okay, after Saint Elsewhere pulled it off, nobody else is allowed to. You know. <laughs> <laughs> um. Spoilers oh. for Saint Elsewhere fans. I mean, that was like forty-five years ago. So if you didn't <laughs> no know, nobody knows what that is probably. The thing is, it's hard for me to think of like a book that should have had a different ending, just because like, like. Books I love that stay with me, part of the reason I love them is because mm-hmm. I feel like they wrap up the way I want them to, yeah. or they wrap up in a way that's effective. And then books I don't like, I just kind of try to purge from my brain. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a book like that I liked until the ending. There's a lot of books that I don't like the endings for. I mean... I wish of Mice and Men ended differently, but it shouldn't have. Oh, the ending is great. Right, it's like the ending is fantastic. It's just I mean, there's plenty of books with miserable endings that are great endings. Yeah, see, I'm I love miserable books. Um, so it's hard for me because I don't, I kind of feel like I don't want books to end differently. Um, I mean, I think almost any Stephen King book probably needs a better ending because like all most of, them, of but, his books do most, not end well. Most of them. Yeah, they just some of the oh the worst. So, Legend of 1863 and Dark Tower are the endings that made me the, the angriest, but I think the worst ending is Under the Dome. That is going to have the world-class dumbest ending I've ever seen in my life. It's so comically bad. It, you, you will, like, not believe it's happening as you're reading it. It's so stupid. <laughs> so that should have ended... Honestly, just lop the last hundred pages off that book and those just in the middle of it, then it would have been a better ending. Um, I'm going to say... Oh, I just had it. And I forgot. Oh, and it's kind of... Because I really loved this book. I'm going to say Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence because it was the first that he's written. It was his first book. And so I really enjoyed the book, but the last, like, 10% was just, like... And now we're going to go fight this massive battle we've been building to this entire book. And then we did it in the end. And it, so it wasn't that it was bad. It just felt like, can we tack on, like, another hundred pages where, like, this is, like, not, like, three sentences? Um, so I think I would say that could use a better ending. Not because it's not a good ending and not because it's not a good book. But it was just, you can tell it was, like, he, like, wasn't, hadn't gotten it down yet. And mm-hmm. so he kind of just, like, rushed the ending. So... That would be the one that should have ended differently. All right, a book that should have a movie franchise. Benicula. I thought like it would ruin that. They'd probably have, like, talking, the actual... You know they move their mouths? Well, they just have to do animated. Well, or they should do it, like, Homeward Bound, which was so good, where they have the voice, but they don't make the mouths of the animals, mm-hmm. like, CGI move. They'll look so bad. I don't know why they do that. Because, um, like... It's way more effective when they, mm. you just have the voices. You know yeah. who they belong to. Anyway, that or Badlands of Heart. 
a movie franchise. It needs to be like There's still these two ballets of heart. Neverwhere. That was a TV series. Yeah, that's just one book though. Yeah, but it'd be a great franchise set in that world. Mm-hmm. I think you could do all kinds of things in that world, couldn't you? No. You know what should have a TV series or a movie franchise is uh, A Song of Ice and Fire. I wonder how that would be put on screen. I think you might be bringing that up a little bit too many times. You read more books, right? Yes, but I just want the next one and I'm mad and it's I want happening. it. not Give it up. All right. So, yeah, what I said, never wear. Um, a book that should have a TV show. Oh, I just said this. Oh, Long Walk by Stephen King. I think it would be a great TV show because I think we'd get, like, time. It'd be a miniseries. Yeah, but I think it would yeah. be a good show because I think you could do, like, all of the different guys walking. You would have time to, like, kind of... I know I know you don't like this, but, like, in Lost and Walking Dead and stuff where they uh, have, like, the sort of flashbacks to who they were before the events. Oh I think that would, like, be effective, though. I think that'd be a good way to ruin it. No, because, like, you don't have any character development in Long Walk. And so you kind of want to see, like... But, like, you also don't want to, like, start at the before the walk. You want to get into the walk right away. Into so the you, walk. So you'd have to probably pull, like, that kind of Lost or, like, Walking Dead style yeah. where it's, like, half the episode is, like, in the past and half mm. is... Um, but I think that would be good because I think it would give more character development. Yeah, what I think would make a good TV series because they could have infinite adventures because there's tons of cool characters uh watership down they could just like they could, oh, they could they run a movie of that, yeah. they did a movie but like, they could have a tv series that runs for years because their characters are awesome the the amount of things that they could do is just tons it'd be great give me the watership down tv series um a book that should have had multiple point of views huh i love books with multiple point of views so mm. half of mine already have them huh. i don't know Gatsby? No. I kind of like how it's, it's yeah, sort of I mean, filtered through somebody's... What's interesting is, this would probably change it a lot, but I think because one of the least interesting characters is the perspective you get is some of the Harry Potter books. Because, like, you always yeah. get Harry Potter, and he's, like, one of the most boring characters, but there's tons of great side characters. There's also tons of things that happen, like, quote, off-camera in those books, and you kind of like to see some of those things. I wouldn't mind getting a... Here's some serious point of view. Here's some Hermione point of view. Here's some Crookshanks point of view. <laughs> yeah, you know? and the thing is, like, part of what I think works with Harry Potter, though, and it's the same thing I was saying with um, Gatsby, is part of it is, like, the limited narration yeah, is it part of what makes the story yeah, work. It so definitely well. works that well, but I'd be interested in seeing some other point of view. I would love, oh, Snape should get a spinoff. I want a Snape spinoff. I want the, like, prequel series well, of Snape. right now the Snape spinoff is just, like, him dead. I know, but I want a spinoff Spoilers. of, like, Snape, Snape from when he's Snape? Drunk. Snape's best friend, Snape. You know who he's Not more... like Snape's not, not a ridiculous name anyway. Like, ah, oh, Snape sounds funny. Well, you know what Snape. needs more perspectives is As I Lay Dying. <sighs> but a Thor 307. Yeah. I don't know, like, I love multiple perspectives, so so many of my favorite books already have that. Most books do that. Not most, most most good books do that. Not no, all they like, don't. I guess that's true. I did. You know how I I love yeah, like curious, multiple like narrators. I am legend. I guess is singular. So those are all good, but whatever. Um, I don't know. Uh, book thief maybe. No. All uh, right. Yeah, that's part no, of the what's so good is the no, death narration no. is like that overarching, omniscient, literally omniscient narrator. Um. Move on. Okay, so we're moving on, even though like. I didn't answer the question. I didn't answer the question. And you didn't answer the question. I did. It's Harry Potter. Train spotting. That didn't really have, like, different perspectives. Ooh, lovely bones. Because we get them, but, like, I wouldn't mind reading more about, like, the dad and, like, Lindsay and stuff. So, yeah. all right. A book that... Sh- okay, that was that's multiple points. A book that should have a cover change. Oh, God, that's, like, all of them. City of Bones. The City of Bones books. Oh, yeah, those are awesome. Those are so bad. I mean, to the point where, like... Literally, everyone kept telling me to read them, and I was like, I'm not reading this nonsense romance with, like, a half-naked boy on the cover. And my nephew at the time, like, wanted, like, had heard it was good, and he would not read them. He was like, I will not read these books, because I'm not carrying around yeah. this glowing, half-naked blonde boy in this, like, chonking, like, 400 page book. I'm not walking around, like, 7th grade, 8th grade, right. carrying this book around. I mean, what boy is carrying that book around at school? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
there are some good covers for this book, but I've never seen one that I love. I just feel like it's a book that should have an amazingly spectacular cover. I'm gonna go with, and then there were none. Mm. Again, it has good covers. It's not like there's a bad cover, but it have an amazing cover. I feel like it should have an, there should be an amazing cover out there for that book. I just it's just not there. Yeah, they just have. Or Hoss on Haunted Hill is another one. Or the Haunting of Hill House, rather. Yeah. That's another one. They're like, like the book. cover is good, but I feel like it should be cooler. Yeah. Um. A book that should have kept the original cover. Oh. A lot of Stephen Kings. I don't even know. I don't know enough about, like, what books had what covers. I don't like, like, I like... Any, anytime they switch to the movie cover, I don't like it. Oh, yeah, do not so do the movie just cover. Just as a universal rule, when you have a cover for a book and a movie comes out and you switch to the movie cover, no. I would say, for me, all those, like, Fear Street and Christopher Pike books, because, like... They remade them to be, like, to go along with, like, modern YA. Yeah. But, like, no. The cheesy 80s neon, those covers work because they're cheesy 80s books. Mm-hmm. Even, like, in, like, Stephen King, same thing. Like, he had some great covers in the 80s. And then they made them all those, like, boring ones that just say Stephen King. You know, and it's, like, and it's, like, a p- one little side picture. Like, he has some really cool, like, I think a lot of those cool like, covers that were made to fit sort of, like, the era they were written in should stay that way. Because, like, I mean, when the book is cheesy in 80s, like, keep it cheesy in 80s, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, um, all right, we have one more. A series that should have stopped at book one. Uh, Hunger Games. Eh, yeah. I loved Mockingjay. Like, I loved it. The, the the sequels are good, but I think it'd be better if they just stopped. I mean, there's definitely books, like, I know that have sequels. Oh, what's that one I was talking about recently? I was like, I don't need any. Oh, Pillars of the Earth. What are you doing? We know everything there is to know about cathedral building. No more pillars. I mean, there's no more. Like, it's already 1,200 pages, Ken. Like, how much more can we possibly need to know? Yeah, Ken. Ken, move on to something else. I mean, I don't even know. Maybe they're about something else. But, like, honestly, I just feel like, how can there possibly be more? It's the columns of the earth next. <laughs> like, how much more can you need to tell us about the medieval cathedral? <laughs> um, it's probably about different stuff. But, um, yeah, definitely doesn't need a sequel. All right, so that's our book tag. What else do you have to say? This is awful. We should prep more. Nah, I like the Next time, all kinds of books about cheese. Oh, we should make our own book tag. Cheese-based book tags. That's what we're going to do. It's not going to happen anytime soon, but we're going to make a book tag. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick types of cheeses and, like, their, like, elements. So, like, one that's, like, fruity, and we're going to say, like, a fruity. Don't don't ruin it. We're doing it. Don't ruin the surprise. We're doing it. Or else it won't be any Gouda. Cheese tag. It's coming. Mozzarella boop. Watch this space for the cheese tag. Bye.